As winter fell in 1202, the Venetian conquest of Zara was complete. Pope Innocent III threatened to excommunicate the whole of the crusade for this fratricidal attack. But Boniface de Montferrat, who had returned from Rome just in time to witness the victory, had already provided a reason for him to stay his hand. During his visit, de Montferrat had a discussion with his cousin, Philip of Swabia. Philip introduced him to the young Alexius Angelus IV, son of the Byzantine emperor Isaac Angelus II. Alexius IV told of a power struggle in his homeland of Constantinople. His uncle, Alexius III, had usurped the throne in 1195 after gouging out Isaac II's eyes and leaving him to rot in a jail. Having heard of the Crusades' great debt to Venice, Alexius IV made Boniface a rather interesting proposition. He would pay the Venetians, provided that the Crusaders help him reclaim the Byzantine throne and free his imprisoned father. The Venetians, who had been in open conflict with the Byzantines for 20 years, were pleased by Alexius IV's proposition. Indisposed to fight other Christians despite the attack on Zara, the high barons were convinced by the Catholic clergy that the Orthodox Byzantines were just as great a threat as the Muslim forces that now occupied Jerusalem. Truth be told, the crusading army had become little more than a legion of mercenaries, ready to sell itself to the highest bidder. Heavily in debt, unable to continue its quest to Jerusalem without support, the crusade seemed more than ever a shadow of its once pious intentions. When spring arrived, the crusaders set out for Constantinople and arrived in July 1203 at the foot of the city's battlements. As for my son, his skills as a warrior were tested and proven in the previous battle. The high baron saw fit to entrust him with a modest squadron of his own. I have the strangest sense of deja vu, Dance. Everything is going to be fine, just like last time. Remind me again, why are we here and not in Jerusalem? We are assisting the son of an emperor to reclaim his city. You need not tell me what you think of that. The more progress we make, the more guilty we become, Dance. All this has very little to do with the Lord's word anymore. And that's to say nothing of De Montferrat and his schemes. But hey! As long as there's gold to be had, I guess. And thanks to your promotion, that gold is going to be more accessible than ever. It appears that the Esteban I know is back. But you do realize that I didn't accept this promotion for gold, right? Besides, I never expected a military promotion to be a problem for you. You're not jealous, are you? If you are talking about my new tunic, it is only so I look less conspicuous next to you. After all, I don't want people to judge you by your company. And frankly, it's a beautiful props, isn't it? It's perfect. It's about as righteous as you are. <laughs> I'd like to see you draw a better cross with a brush soaked in pig's blood. <laughs> you know, Esteban, there is something dark behind all this. I want to unmask it. We'll see this through to the end. I am your shadow, Templar de Ben. The shadow that owes you his life. All of you, listen to me. For those who don't know me, I am the Templar, Dens de Bale. I was given command of this detachment on the orders of the High Baron, Lord Boniface de Montferrat. He will obey my voice as though it were his. Yes, Templar de Bale! That was easy, wasn't it? Our mission is as follows. When the frontal assault begins, we will bypass the Great Wall. Our objective is to destroy their trebuchets and to push through to the rendezvous point, around the Golden Gate. We'll split into two groups. The first, led by Esteban, my right-hand man, will climb the battlement and the other will stay with me on the bottom of the wall. Understood? Understood! Yes, Steal yourselves, Crusaders! We come alongside the shore!
broken.
shall serve us! Blasphemy or not, what he said. He's right. Find another way. Come on, hombre. Haven't I taught you anything about looking deep into your soul? Down this wall. Just a little bit, huh? shall die by our Seen better days. Peace with
overused. 